Hey guys, Twice are here, and this is the second episode of Making Rockstar Bunny. So I said the important things in the last episode, I'm not gonna repeat them. Uh, if you have forgotten or if you, ju you just found uh, this episode, you can go and uh, check it out. And let's get to the tutorial. So we made the base of the head last episode and now we're gonna add the jaw right now. For the jaw you have to uh, cut out a piece like that. I uh, put this under the head to make sure the size is right. And then you have to cut a bigger one. And then take the bigger one. And you have to make little darts. Just fold a little bit of fabric. Then fasten that part with a little simple stitch. Then do the same for the other side. Once you're done, it should look like this. Uh, it's just the bottom of the jaw. Then you have to sew them together. And leave a seam open to turn this inside out. Then fill the jaw, but not too much. And then close up the seam with the back stitch. When you're done, uh, check if uh, it, it looks just right, it's not too big, it's not too small. And then it's time to add the teeth. Now for the bottom jaw, I usually use uh, 5 teeth, but for the upper jaw, I usually use 4 teeth. So Raksha Bonnie had both teeth, but I'm going to show you where I put the upper teeth. So those are the back teeth, that's the jaw, and you just have to attach the jaw to the head. Get the position right, and start with the back of the jaw. Uh, use a back stitch, and start attaching. When you're done with the back, uh, slowly make your way uh, to the center of the jaw. Then it's time to fasten the jaw and so it doesn't look slack. Take your needle out in, in the center just like what I'm doing. And then pull the thread. And you can do it uh, multiple times. Uh, I don't know, uh, his jaw was a little hard to get. And uh, so, um, usually uh, doing that at twice helps. But like I said, Rockstar Bonnie's jaw was a little tough to get. I don't know why. And that's it. You're done with the whole head. You just have to add eyes and the other features. 
I'll show you the result at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Now it's time to make the body. Uh, for the body, um, you have to just do the same thing as we did uh, to get the pattern for the back of the head in the last episode. And those are the two parts for the back of the body. I put them together and sew that part. And then you're done. But you have to notice uh, which part is the upper part of the body and which one is the bottom. Then you have to sew them together. But start with the bottom part. So all the way down to there. And that's the upper part, it has to be open. Do the same one for the other side too. Leave that seam open. And then when you're done. Uh, for the bottom part of the body, you have to close it up with a this oval shaped uh, piece of fabric. And then turn it inside out and fill it in and then do a back stitch and close off the upper seam. And that's how it looks like. Then it's time for the shoulders. They kind of look like half uh, circles. You have to cut four of them and you have to sew them together that way. Leave the seam at the bottom of it. Then you have to turn it inside out, fill it. And close off the seam using a little oval shaped piece of fabric. And then pin the shoulders to the body to see if the size is right. And don't attach them to the body yet. And back in here, I am gonna show you um, the final result of the head. I'm very proud of how it looks like. So that's how he looked like after adding the features. I added the eyelids as well and other things. And I think it looks very good. And I also fixed a, a teeth over there too. I don't know if you saw that on the video or noticed it, but it doesn't matter. I fixed it. So in the next video, we're gonna go for the arms, hands, and the hips. So I'll see you in the next video.